Hi there everybody and uh, welcome to another video. In today's video I have this unusual um, one for me because I normally do cars <laughs> but um, I've been riding my motorbike lately because I've been practicing for my full exam. This is just a 125 so for me to be able to ride a, a 400cc I need to pass and get my full license so pass the tests. So I've been tra uh, sort of training and practicing um, however, my nice, lovely, reliable Honda here has decided to give me one issue, which is the sp speedometer here. Stopped working, so I can't really tell how fast I'm going, even though this is not the most accurate, but it does give you an idea. So today I'm just going to have a look at what might be going on. The cable that comes out of here, um, out of the, the speedo, goes down into this little box here so I'm just gonna disconnect the cable and see if the cable is broken or anything like that um, if not there might be an issue in here in this thing here so that is what I'm going to do I'm just gonna take it out now okay Looks like there is a Phillips screw in here. I'm gonna take that out and see if I can remove that cable. It looks like that little thing there engages a piece in here and it, and it rotates so that must rotate and give us the, the speed I wonder if I can try to connect this to a drill or something and, and rotate it and see if I get uh, the speedometer working I'll give that a go. Okay, so I just got my drill here with a flathead connected to it so I can try the cable. And to be fair, I already tried it and it is working. Um, the cable is not broken. You can see the speed over there it's working. And you can even see the miles going up. So, um, by the way, you need to do it anti-clockwise. So, because if you do it clockwise, it doesn't actually work. <laughs> so, just in case, uh, it, I didn't know. So, I was first trying it uh, clockwise and it wasn't working. And then I thought maybe something wrong with my clock, but I did it anti-clockwise and uh, started working straight away so cable is good um, this dash clock is good no issues there so the problem must be down at the wheel end okay so so far i've discovered that obviously with the drill this is working everything is working there and um as I turn the wheel, I can see the mechanism inside of there is actually turning. So I just reconnected the cable here and uh, I've disconnected it up here again. And uh, what's happening is when I turn the wheel, that doesn't turn. However, if I press this cable, it actually, when I turn the wheel, it actually starts turning. <laughs> so, um, something is worn out in the mechanism. Something is either worn out on the cable, the little bit that links to the, the bit in here, or the bit in there that links to 
So it's, it's the actual connection that is worn out somehow. So I'm gonna have a look at uh, how these new cables are supposed to look. And um, I think there is a part number just here. I may look at this cable, see if that uh, in there is supposed to be a little bit bigger. And maybe it's just worn out. Because the, the, the way it attaches is very weird. I mean, it's just that little bit in there, which is all the way in, attaches to the <coughs> other part in there. And uh, the only part that I can see that actually moves in and out is this one here. So if I push the cable from up here, that comes out like that. <laughs> so has it worn out? Has it worn down? And that's why it's no longer making contact? It seems to be the case because I, like I said I can't really see that that is uh, that there it's got uh, a big sort of lip so not exactly at fault and obviously yeah if I turn the wheel that is turning as well uh, so anyway, um, I may have to get a new, um, I may have to get a new cable. So as far as checking this and, uh, and trying to find out if your clocks are good or not, I hope the video helps. Um, if I actually manage to fix it, then I'll post another video, but, um, it's a fairly simple dismantling thing here it, it doesn't uh, this cable easily just comes out from the back of the clock and obviously just a Phillips screw down there so if you're diagnosing a similar thing I hope the video helps and uh, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you on the next video and thank you for watching